Carolyn, yeah, the weather, of course, was less than ideal for tonight's service, but it was no less poignant here in front of the cr criminal justice building that bears Denzinger's name. Now, a crowd of perhaps 200 people gathered tonight to pay their respects to Officer Denzinger. He was shot and killed during a domestic call June 18th, 2007. Officers of the Floyd County Sheriff's Department placed a wreath in honor of Denzinger's service and sacrifice. There were prayers and songs and finally a sea of flames flickering through the rain in Denzinger's memory. We pray that each one of you in the law enforcement family, whether you be the man or the woman wearing the uniform, or whether you be the family that is waiting for them to come home, we pray that you get to go home and you get to get them home. I am just so thrilled that all these folks remembered Frank. We miss him every day and uh, it's just amazing how many folks do too. We continue even 10 years later to hear stories about the great things that he did and how he helped people. So, you know, <clears throat> he was an amazing man and we, we miss him terribly. Also tonight, Floyd County Sheriff Frank Loop presented Denzinger's family with a couple of memorial trees and also a letter from a student in California who did a project on Denzinger just to show how far and wide his impact really was on the world. Reporting here in New Albany, I'm Matthew Rand, WLKY News.